Using Canvas UI Part 2. Canvas UI can work with your controllers to add buttons, scrolling and text input. In this video I'll show you how. First up, Buttons. Open app.js in the folder Canvas UI Buttons. Slide down to the Create UI method. Let's look at the config object. Notice we've added a renderer property. This is essential if controllers need to interact with the UI. The class does not add a visualization of the controllers. For that you need to use the usual techniques, but it does add event listeners to the controllers and update events. It's also essential that you call update for the UI in the render loop. Another thing to notice in this example is we've set the width and height of the panel to two meters by half a meter. Since the default pixel size is 512 square, we've set the pixel height to 1 to 8. So the aspect ratio of the panel and the canvas texture applied to the panel match. Now let's look at the buttons. Notice they all have type button. When you specify an element to be a button, it can have a hover property. This will replace the background color when a controller is pointing directly at the button. A button can also have an on select callback. This is a function that will be called when the trigger button is pressed, when the controller ray is pointing at the button. The final thing to point out is in the content object, the string used for prev, stop and next starts with path. When this is the case, the button background will be filled using the SVG path specified. Running this example at this address, you can see that you can select a button and for each the on select callback is called. Sometimes a block of text is too big for the panel area allowed for it. If that's the case the UI needs to know how to handle it. By default it will be cropped. But if you add overflow scroll to the config, provide a renderer and call update for the UI in the renderer loop then you will be able to scroll using the controllers. Take a look at app.js in the folder Canvas UI Scrolling. All that was needed to make the TXT panel into one that can be scrolled is the addition of the overflow option. The other option for overflow is hidden. A live example of this is at this address. The final example we'll look at is input text. When an element has the type input-text, selecting it will bring up an on-screen keyboard allowing the user to enter text. Take a look at app.js in the folder Canvas UI Keyboard. Notice we pass a renderer and set message to be of type input text. If an element is of type input text, then it can have a placeholder and if the current value of the element is an empty string, then the placeholder will be displayed at 50% opacity. If placeholder is not provided, then the element will be empty. An input text element has two callbacks, onChanged and onEnter. OnChanged is called each time the text for the element is changed and onEnter when the return button is pressed on the virtual keyboard. Canvas UI is a very useful tool for displaying a UI in your WebXR 3GS apps. Get the library from GitHub. You may be interested in my 3GS WebXR course. Get the course at a great discount at this address.